I got this board from Hobby Lobby. It measures 18 by 11 inches. And I'm going to take my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain and a Gen Foam Brush, and I'm going to apply the gel stain to the entire board. I'm focusing on the whitewashed area, and then I'm going to take some paper towels and just rub the gel stain in. This gel stain is so easy to apply. I then got this beehive from Joanne Fabrics. It's a cork material and then it has the wooden outline. I'm going to take the Lemon Zest Deco Art paint. I'm going to paint the trim of the beehive with the Lemon Zest paint. I love this color yellow. It's nice and bright. And you can get this paint right at Hobby Lobby. Then I'm going to set that aside to dry. I'm going to go back to my stained board and I got this honeycomb stencil from Studio R12. They have a ton of great stencils. And I've also found something similar at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And I want the stencil to lay flat against my board. So I just ended up cutting a few out of that stencil. And I'm going to tape around the entire edge. And using some of the Lemon Zest Deco Art paint and a foam dabber, I'm just going to lightly dab over the stencil. And I know adding the tape around seems a little tedious, but when you're dabbing on the paint, you want to make sure that it's not bleeding over onto your board. So then I repeated the same step in the other side of the board. And again, when you're using these thin stencils, you want a very small amount of paint and you just lightly dab. You may have to go over it a couple times. And once it's fully covered, I then removed it. And I went back to the beehive and I got this stencil from Michaels. It's from the Folk Art Collection. It's a reusable screen stencil. And I'm going to put the Welcome to Our Hive on top of our hive. Now because this was the cork material, it did not really stick that well. But I just tried it anyways using some Wise Owl black paint and a foam dabber. I'm just going to lightly rub over the screen stencil holding it in place and when I lifted it, it actually had no bleeding, which was great. I'm going to take my board and I'm going to hot glue the hive to the top area. And you're just going to find the placement that you want. I went back to the other part of the stencil. This stencil came with two sheets and this has the B with the humble, kind, and positive words. And I'm just going to cut out the humble and the kind. And then I'm also going to be using the B. Now sometimes you do have to cut the stencil so you can place all the little pieces exactly where you want them. And I'm just going to place the B to the left side here. And using some Wise Owl Antique Villa paint and another foam dabber, I'm going to rub over just the B. And when you lift it, there's absolutely no bleeding and the detail is really great. I'm then going to place the word humble to the right of the B and then kind below that. Once that was dry, I got this stencil from the Dollar Tree and I'm just using it for the and symbol. And I'm going to place that in between the humble and kind. And then I just take a very thin art brush and I'm going to fill in the little areas on the and symbol to make that complete. And then to finish the top of this off, I had the little hole from the jute hanger. I'm going to take my gingham ribbon. and make a bow, a very easy bow, and I'm just going to glue it to the top here. Now you can use any color ribbon that you want. This is a wired ribbon so I can fluff up the loops of the bow. And then I'm just trimming the tail a little bit. I'm going to add one more honeycomb to the bottom left of my board. 
Now this one was from Michael's. And you can scatter the honeycomb stencil throughout the entire board if you want. And there we go, that completes this board. So now we have this really fun, welcome to our hive, be humble and kind board. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.